Hi, I'm Andrew Johnson for SEO.com, and I'm here to talk today about a 404 page. So what exactly is a 404 page? Let's say you want to go to your favorite site, footballcats.com, and uh, you want to go to the page, you want to go to the store, actually, so you can buy a mug. And you think you remember the URL for that store, so you type it in, footballcats.com slash store. Well, it turns out that that's not actually the page for the store, so you get a 404 error. Now, the correct URL for the store is actually footballcats.com slash shop. Now, many times a website will have a static 404 page uh, to direct the user to indicate that they actually reached a page that doesn't exist. So what exactly do you need to have on a 404 page uh, to make sure that the users have a good experience? Well, first of all, we recommend that you have a link to the home page. Uh, you also need to have a, a search box on that 404 page. Also, a link to the site map so users can actually find the page that they want to get to. Now, the 404 page looks like any other site or any other page on your site, and it's not a good idea just to redirect users to the home page uh, when they type in an incorrect URL.